Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Smash Ultimate Fires Pass 2 Tournament Arms Character Tournament. Hi, Simon. Here to join me on this um, tournament. Glad you can come. Anyways, here we have all 15 Arms 1 characters here and ready to fight. But wait a minute. This is 16 members. Why is there a random weird cursed looking dude on the bottom right underneath this Dr. Coil? person. We'll get to the Dr. Coil slash whoever that guy is fight later. But for right now, let's start this tournament. Starting with Spring Man versus Ribbon Girl. And if you were wondering, yes, I was inspired to do this tournament after watching... Okay, I thought for a second someone was dead there. But um... Yeah, after watching Captain Kidd's tournament on the arms character tournament thi- Yeah, after watching that video, I was like, I could do better than this guy. And, well, here we are. So yeah, um, Spring Man and Ribbon Girl. If these two actually make it in to, as the DLC character, quite a few ro- Dang, I didn't even get to finish what I was going to say. <laughs> man, Spring Man just really wanted to shut down that fight quickly. <laughs> Back to being a me costume and spirit for you, ma'am. Next up, Majora vs. Master Mummy. As I was saying, it, those two will break quite a few rules. Fan rules, to be exact. If they make it in, of course. You know, the ones where, um, hey, you can't have an assist trophy be playable in the same game. Or, same applies to being a meek costume or spirit. That kind of, those kind of rules. Also, hi, Master Mummy, you've get lost weight. No, I can't say he gained weight. He, he does not look like that. A, a picture of his actual character look and then just, yeah, yeah he, he, he definitely lost weight. I guess he, like, signed up for a Smash Ultimate- oh, jeez. <laughs> well, he had to have signed up for that Smash Ultimate fitness program. Otherwise, well, wasn't I right? Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to focus on the match, because sometimes I gotta get sidetracked with, like, what I'm talking about, and I don't even pay attention to what's going on with the actual match. Um, so, so Najara is trying to catch up, and he slowly is, he took a stock. Okay, um, can one of you, like, end this real quick? Because, um, I gotta, I gotta do something off camera real quick. Master Mummy, can you please do me a favor and just, um, KO this guy real quick. Please. 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 Thank you. Now if you guys excuse me, I know this is unprofessional me, but I have to um, be AFC uh, real quick. AFC is short for A away from controller real quick. I'm sorry. Not A away from controller real quick. Away from controller. Again, this is a, this is very unprofessional, but I'm, I'm gonna be right back. I promise. All right, we're back at it with the tournament. Here we are with Min Min versus Mechanica. Okay, I thought for a second there that the side B would have just kind of killed her, but good thing it didn't. So, um, funny story with Min Min and Mechanica. This is my second take on the tournament, and. D during the first take on the tournament, this was at the, during Min Min and Mechanica's fight. The match started with Min Min using her side B on Mechanica, and after her move was done, she just zoomed off the edge and just died. And keep in mind, this was the thing that started the battle. I even have a clip of it, which I'm gonna play right now. And you might be wondering why am I doing a retake on this? Well, that's because, well, during my first recording of this, I had to stop because dinner was ready. And hey, sure, recording a video is important, but you know what's more important than recording a video? Eating food. 
especially good food. I mean, if you have like a nice like dinner, you know, like some steak or something, you know, it's, it's like worth it in the end. Anyways, oh, Min Min out here living a counter move like that. Yeah, you know, look at these two. They're like high percent. They're dodging attacks. They're countering each other. Let's go, girls. You see what I mean? Yeah, they're both at 140% and they're st Oh my god, it's sh wow, Min Min! Out here, just moving! And she's still living! Okay. <laughs> well, at least um, things are even now. So... Okay, um, okay, so stuff is happening. Oh, okay! <laughs> I thought that was that was it, but she hit this thing instead to keep her alive. Okay, so um, I, I'm like not biased at all, but I I want Min Min to win because she's like a, one of the more interesting characters in Arms that I actually want to. <gasps> Wait, actually, hold on. I don't I don't think this will kill. Actually. Oh, it apparently did. Oh, Min Min out here clutching it up! Yeah! I am sorry if I'm quieter than normal. It's just, you know, my parents are here and, you know, I gotta be a little quiet in case they're doing their more important things than what I'm doing. Anyways, next up on the list of fights, Twint L versus Bite. Hey, Zaya. You're here to watch the... Oh, I know, you're playing Mega Man X. An actual good game. You know, I, I, I ain't judging. Mega Man seems like a fun game. You know, like, fun, fun fact about me, I actually haven't played a Mega Man game. Like, it's not that I don't, like, have an interest in it. In fact, if I have, like, the money, I could just buy a Mega Man X co or Mega Man collection on the eShop if I wanted to. It's just... I just, I don't know, I just didn't really have, like, the money to, like, buy a collection or something. Anyways, so, let's just talk about the actual, like, me real quick. With Captain Kid's video on the tournament, his me on Twintel was a little different than mine. Let's just say that much. And I did the best I could with Bite to make him look as, like, legit as mint as I could with him. You know, just limitations with the me customization, you know what I mean? And also, I didn't give Bite a voice because I didn't really think the voices matched his actual, like, robotic voice in-game, so... Sorry about that. However, Twintel ain't sorry for just doing him like that, though. Oh, who's getting it? Oh, stealing it and using it right there on him. It ain't gonna kill though. Oh, what she should have done there was like, as soon as Bai like landed, like stopped flying right there next to her, she should have used her uppercut thrust. Not a lot of people talk about it, but that's an actual combo you can do. Like you can like, jab block him, use your final smash, and then uppercut thrust. That's a legitimate combo, and um, I mean, it's very situational, sure, but it is there. But anyways, here we are with the- both at one stock, and Twin Tail's in the lead. But- but hey, don't count by out just yet. Sometimes these CPUs can clutch it- clutch it up, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, Byte didn't clutch it. But Twintel over here is just showing off that she's got the skills. Also, I couldn't like make her hair pink and white at the same time, so again, this is the best I could do. Anyways, next up, Kid Copra versus Helix. So with Kid Cobra, I actually did a little bit of research when it came to his actual, like, human face. And after this tournament's done, I'll show you what I did when it comes to c creating his, like, human face, which is underneath that mask. Which, 
Another thing, like, to know is that, um, I had no idea Kid Cobra was an actual human. <laughs> I just, like, I thought he was, like, a humanoid snake. You, like, you know what I mean? Like, part human, part snake? Like, actually, I think he is a humanoid snake. Oh, hey, Ninja Pro. Like, I mean, like, with the pictures, like, there is one where he sticks his tongue out and it. it's, like, his, like, a snake tongue. Again, like, I don't know if it's, like, legit or not, though. Well, anyways, with Helix, he's the other, like, me that doesn't have a voice. Because, again, doesn't couldn't find one that matched his actual voice. And also, this is the best I could do to cover up most of his, like, body with green. Ooh, okay, Kid Cobra. I don't know why we're, um, here at, um, Green Hill Zone. You know, I, actually, never mind. I think I can, can kind of see why we're here. Kid Cobra, Cobra is kind of one of those cool, radical kind of characters. At least I think he is. Unfortunately, his cool radicalness isn't enough to win against Helix. Helix himself couldn't even just comprehend the fact that he won. Look at his eyes there. He is just in utter shock. Anyways, next up, Max Brass versus Lola Pops. Um, so... There wasn't really, like, a costume that, like, it can give her, like, a clown kind of look, so... Again, best I could do with her. Well, well holy smokes. Lola Pops just kind of outplayed Max Brass there. Sure, Max Brass is a big, bulky brute. Unfortunately, his recovery this game sucks. Like, when it comes to actually recovering, that is. I mean, then again, there's there might be times where the bees can just be losing, like, one to two, and then they could still win. If they just... Like, pull out the ultimate, like, level 9 CPU kind of skills. Um, unfortunately, Lola Pops is gonna... Oh! He stole it right from her! Oh, he didn't even use the Final Smash to kill her with that. Because, you know what, he doesn't need to use it now. Instead, he's gonna die with it. <laughs> oh, poor Max Brass. Got the final smash and everything. Mm. That's very depressing. <laughs> if only his, his like recovery was actually good, then he might have actually had a chance. Anyways, next up is Masango versus Springtron. Oh, hey, Alexander. Musical note. Okay, I know Misego's me looks stupid, but hey, I love it. Mainly because he looks absolutely worried and paranoid at th with this entire tournament. <laughs> like, I'm trying to make him look kind of like that little slightly angry look that matches, like, actual face. But it just looks stupid and off. <laughs> and then there's Springtron, which, like, is the other me that doesn't have a voice. It like, I know, like, it's not the goatee and mouth aren't red or gray, but look. Limitations, okay? But hey, look at Masengo over here. He's doing all right. Spreetron tried to just ledge trap up, like, edge guard, but he, was, but he just said, Nah, I'm just gonna die instead. Okay, I get the whole thing with arms is that you jump a lot in order to get like the upper hand on our opponents, but, but these guys are jumping around with a faint jump like left and right like the rabbits. Surprisingly, Masango is still alive. What was that? Both use a uh, fake jump and then just kind of cross each other. Okay, the spring run. Well, 
Well, Springtron is in a little bit of a trouble trouble here because he is at 85 with only Masengo at 13. What the? How did you miss the ledge? It was right there. You just could go left a little bit. Well, anyways, I guess uh, Springtron's gonna be the assist trophy of Springman if Spring Springman wins. If not, he could be a spirit. Anyways, last round for round one. Dr. Coil versus our Arms 2 rep. Three, two, one, go! Yes, you heard me right. An Arms 2 rep. Even though we have not gotten the confirmation the game's coming out, it might be something Nintendo would do. I mean... We've seen them, like, promote other games or other, like, DLCs and stuff with characters from the said games. I mean, we've got Corrin promoting Fire Emblem Fates. We got, um, Byleth promoting the Fire Emblem Three Houses DLC. And other characters. So it wouldn't be two out of left field. What was that interaction? They both jabbed and then just, just kind of dodged nothing. Anyways, you might be wondering, who is Arms 2 Rep? What is his full name? Boy, do I have the amazingly terrible name for you guys. Are you ready for this? No? Good. His name, officially, is Robbie Lobby. His whole gimmick is that he, lo he likes to lob his throws and punches and stuff. It is stupid, it is, like, something Nintendo probably wouldn't use, and that's why I love it so much. <laughs> like, I'm gonna put up a petition. We need to make sure Nintendo, for ARMS 2, his, the new character is named something similar to Robbie Lobby. And look at that, Robbie Lobby is out here winning 2-0. He wants this. Also, you see that little dot right there? That's his mole. Yes, his mole is part of his nose. I will show you in a separate video what I did to this me to make him his cursed self. And you will hate me forever for it. Anyways, round two, Springman versus Master Mummy. Yes, his name is Master Mummy and not Master Mummy. Because, I don't know, it just... It's dumb. I will say though, it's kind of stupidly impressive that Springman made it this far. I mean, sure he shut down Ribbon Girl like it was absolutely nothing, but I don't know. Whenever he's going up against Master Mummy, a pretty strong brute who just kind of kind of destroyed Ninjara, but I can't really say that, and oh well, there goes Springman's slow descent to be an assist trophy. <sighs> well, I mean, we can't quite count him out yet. We've seen me these me's kind of just pull out clutches out of thin air. Like, have you- did you remember the, the Min Min Mechanica fight? Min Min just kind of pulled that out of nowhere, you know what I mean? It's gonna- takes a lot of good timing and counterattacks, but Springman might just pull this out. If it, uh, come out on top. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's go, Spring Man. Oh, okay. I like how when you use the counter in, in the air, it, it just slams on nothing. <laughs> you know, for characters who like to use their arms as weapons more often than their legs, they sure like to use their legs for attacking each other a lot. I understand Min Min, because she uses her legs in-game, but uh-oh. Oh, this is bad. Springman, gotta be careful, man. Have you seen what happens when someone gets hit by the spinal smash? Let's just say it doesn't end well for the person that gets... Uh, and there you go. 
Back to being an assist trophy slash spirit slash be costume for you, bucko. Well, we put up a good fight at least. You gotta give a man that one. Anyways, next up, Min Min versus Twintel. Oh boy, ain't this gonna be a fight. Alright everybody, place your bets. Which one of these best girls are gonna is gonna win and move on to the semifinals to fight against Master Mummy? Is it gonna be actually good looking character? Or is it gonna be Bayonetta 2? I have no idea what what the Okay, just, Twin Tail just kind of died. I, I don't know why she just kind of missed, but I guess that- Ooh, Okay, that was close. What? Okay, alright. Next up, Helix versus Lola Pops. Alright, so right off the gate down B I did it again! I mean I've heard of weirder ways to start a match, but hey gamer boy. You playing that um Fortnite game? You know, the one that's slowly dying on on player counts and viewership and stuff. Yeah. You like that new Harley Quinn outfit? Yes. There is a legitimate Harley Quinn outfit in me in the Fortnite. Epic Games is that desperate for viewers and actual players. It's a little sad, but hey, man, you gotta do what you gotta do to get your player counts high again. Also, Helix died. What was that? Why do a slight punch? Oh, hey, Judge McDude. Is it, or is it Jude McDude? Actually, I think it's that one. What was I saying again? Um, Lola Pops. Okay, Liz. Well, that was an interaction. Uh, Alright, so, um... I am totally not talking over loud noises in the kitchen. Ooh, okay, so... Lola Pops over here is just actually kind of... She she is actually like doing pretty decently. Why are you just doing that? You're just gonna get wombo comboed like... Oh, Lola Pops over here barely like dodging that. I mean, I know she's very like... Like, what's the term like for like being good at dodging? I'll just say that. She's good at dodging. Okay, that's the way to end off that stock. Man, Helix never saw it coming. Some uh, inflatable clown beating him. Mistango versus um, Robbie Lobby. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Oh no, Mistango was not ready for the. What is that? What was that startup? He jumped. And then it was just immediately met with a, hi, I'm gonna use my helicopter kick on you. Man, Mistango really wasn't expecting this. He's just fighting this completely straight, complete, another stranger. And he has no idea what to expect from him. Mainly because this is a completely brand new, newly made character that I've made up. Just to represent ARMS 2 and for being in the tournament to be the number 16th member. So I don't blame him for being a little paranoid at the moment. But hey, they're, things are pretty even schmeven. Or at least they were. Okay, 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 Robbie. Okay, Robbie, calm down. Oh, okay, so, um... Okay, thank you. Thank you for evening things up. Making things a little more interesting around here. Honestly, really just like a few good hits from either of them, and they just kind of, the person that did that wins. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Watch out, Mistango. I don't think you're quite ready to be 
KO'd by Stranger Man Robbie Lobby. Uh oh. It's like he's trying to... Oh, I see what he's trying to do. He's trying to mix him up. He's trying to, like, make him scared so that way he can mess up with the input. I see. I see you. Man. Masango may not have been prepared for this tournament and this thing, but let me tell you something. Robbie Lobby was way too prepared for this. All right, semi-finals, let's do this. Master Mummy versus Min Min. All right, so I've doubt you guys saw my um, community post about it, but I did on my main channel put up a community post regarding who I, my wish list slash predictions for the Fighters Pass 2 characters would be. And in order, it was, it was Min Min, Crash Bandicoot, Toxtricity, Sora, Porky Meech from Mother, Mother Series, and um, Doom Slayer. Yeah, Min Min is like the one character like I'm, I'm like in my wish list slash predictions because Min Min is a pretty popular character and she has quite a unique playstyle I think. I mean, I'm not too familiar with ARMS since I haven't played the game so I don't know what the um, gimmick with her would be aside from using those um, legs of hers. Ooh, okay Min Min. Oh, he only, she only did that just to taunt him. Oh, that's that's disrespectful, girl. Part of me is like kind of sad and also kind of glad that Twintel lost. Mainly because I don't know, just her design might be a little. Let's just say not not for good boys and girls. Oh, did you see that? She stole that right from him. I have no idea what the heck that was, but okay. <laughs> they both were shielding, and then Master Mummy said, Nah, I'm just gonna kill you now. Okay, that was something. Game. Oh, I guess she knew, she, she knew Master Mummy was gonna attack it. And so she used that to her advantage, to where the up B would bring him away from the ledge. Oh, she's so smart. Well, she's moving on to finals. And who is, oh no, Lola Pops versus Mr. Um, Robbie Lobby. Three, two, one, Robbie Lobby, do us all a favor and just take out the trash, alright? No disrespect to it, L the Lola Pops or her fans or whatever. I have nothing against Lola Pops. I just don't think she's, you know, Smash Brothers potential, like a potential Smash Brothers character. You know what I mean? Like maybe like a, a sis trophy or something. I just don't really see her as like an actual playable character in Smash Brothers. But Robbie Lobby over here, this man's got some true potential. Sure, they have identical moves, but hey, just about all of these Mii's have identical moves from one another. I don't know, just Robbie Lobby kind of does these moves a little better. Probably because, well, we've never seen them before, and these Mii's, well, we kind of expect what they can do. <laughs> they both use their upbeat at the same time. Okay, okay, Robbie, okay. Okay, he's still alive, still alive. Did, did you really just gimp her like that? At 130% as well? Oh no. Oh no, something tells me that Arms 2 man, Robbie Lobby, is gonna actually pull this off. Hey, you know what? As long as it wasn't Lola Pops that wins, it's, it's a win for all of us. Alright, here we are in the finals. Min Min, character that a lot of people actually want. And then Robbie Lobby, the Arms 2 dude. Best of luck to all of these guys. Place your bets now. And don't go cheating on me and just doing the little preview thing that you can do on YouTube videos. 
Oh hey, so far so good for Min Min, she didn't die from using Side B immediately. Okay, okay, she, okay, so, um... I, I hate the fact that this actually fits because these are the me, we're using me characters, and then there's the me's in the background. And because we're on Omega Forms battlefield, like, Omega Forms, we're only gonna get this and nothing else. Like, no bat, like, little, um, platforms or whatever. Because uh, originally there were platforms, it was like, both platforms, like, Battlefield and Omega Forms. But I wanted to change it to where it was just Omegas, so that makes it make it a lot more like an actual arms game, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh! No way! I didn't, I didn't know this until now! We could see Matt in the in the crowd over there! There's a bunch of Max! Matt's! Oh man. Oh, by the way, Min Min's winning, actually. Oh, holy cow. She might actually pull this off. Let's go, Min Min. Barely making it back to the stage. But yeah, you can actually see Matt in the background. There's a bunch of them, too. Glad to know Matt's getting represented in Smash Bros. I'm presuming he was also in the Wii U version because, well, you can see the flags. It says the, um... The dead console over there. Ooh, barely uh, dodging that? Ooh, okay. 121% on Min Min? She can make that. Uh, she didn't, she didn't get to survive that though. Yo, know, I ain't jinxing nothing. I'm just gonna let everything we see just play out. I have no idea what Min Min was going for there, but... Why is it with these guys using up, like, up air, like, near the e like the edge of a stage? I don't get that. This is surprisingly close, actually. Oh! Okay, okay, I thought that was it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that probably would have been it, actually. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Come on, Min Min, you got this. One good hit, and it's over. No, that's not it. Wait, it is! Yeah, Min Min! Woohoo! The one character we actually want to win. <laughs> Robbie Lobby put up a good fight, but he was no match for Min Min's skills. And just like that, folks, we can potentially get Min Min to be the artist character that we are wishing and hoping to be. And if it ain't Min Min, it's probably one going to be a Koopaling slash um, hero esque scenario, where it's going to be like. One main character, like say Springman, and the alternates are gonna be like a few other characters. Either way, as long as Min Min's gonna be playable, then hey, I've got credibility on my side, but not really. Anyways, before I forget, where is he? Where is he? Ah, yes, Kid Cobra right here. Again, best I can do when it comes to using the picture as a reference, but I think it's alright. And over here we have uh, Mr. Uh, Robbie Lobby. I'll make a separate video on this channel on how to make this guy. But anyways... Oh, and um, yes, you saw that right. I have 65 me's in my catalog. Um, like 64 really just not like counting my me but yes yeah, 64 me's with that said folks thank you guys so much for watching this tournament i hope you enjoyed it and see you all in the next tournament
tournament am I going to do for Volume 2, Fighters Pass 2? Number 7. I, I'm sorry, I had to think about that one. I don't know why. Let's all cross our fingers and hope and pray Min Min actually is a playable character.